Hey everybody, this is John from TG Nexus, finishing up our last match of a league with Esper Masterminds Acquisition Prison in Modern. Donation deck list from Foz. Special thanks to Foz for donating. And if you want to see your deck played, $10 donation will let you see any deck in any format played in the league. We'll play it to the best of my ability. I do generally focus on Modern and Standard, but if you want to see a Legacy or Vintage deck, we can try rolling that out as well. As a friendly reminder, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, giving us a thumbs up, leaving a constructive comment down below. And this is a deck that's similar to the Mono White Prison decks that have been floating around, using things like Ghostly Prison and Sphere of Safety to lock your opponent's creatures out from attacking, Leyline Sanctity from being damaged by burn spells, Rune Halo to shut down various threats, uh, Solemnity, Phyrexian Unlife, kind of a lock, especially in Game 1. Uh, the first league we played this deck, it went 3-2, and two, had a pretty solid finish. Um, we've had some kind of rough games this go-round. Uh, lost to humans doing a tempo thing, Game 2 and Game 3. Uh, Blue-White Control, which is kind of a terrible matchup for the Stella deck. And then Hardened Scales did the Hardened Scales thing. And uh, our other matchup, I don't honestly remember what it was. But basically, the general idea is to ramp into uh, Mastermind's acquisition to look for whatever pieces you need uh, using Ghostly Prison to stop attacks. And then you win by Never Ending Torment, which basically allows you to search your opponent's library every turn. Uh, for each card in your hand, you get to search for an additional card, so you eventually win by basically leaving them with no way out of the lock and. Um, just kind of winning that way, so. This hand is pretty decent. Go ahead and keep. Probably just fetch a... It's like, well, why did they do that? So depending on what deck we're playing against, we do have the awkward tension of wanting to keep lands in our deck. So I'm not sure if I should fetch on end step, because we do want Ghostly Prison. Well, that's probably not great. That's probably... Probably a rock-based strategy would be my guess. Fortunately, we don't have any copies of Greater Ormancy in our main deck, so. Yep, looks like some type of rock based strategy. Obzon? Nope, Devoted Druid Combo. That was the other deck we lost to, so... Play out Solemnity... Which means I do believe they can untap their... thing... infinitely. Which is probably not a good combo with this particular thing. Looks like that shuts down the activated ability on Devoted Druid. Good to know. Not exactly an intuitive interaction. Counters can't be put on One or less, huh? Brr. 
birds, sure. Possibly have a way to break this up in their main deck, but if they don't, they'll lock out the game. These lists might have Knight of Autumn or something in their deck. Sure. Like, what does that really go get in their deck, though? Like, other than mana dorks, okay, giver of runes, sure. Not really trying to kill your dudes, so it's kind of whatever. Do you have a way out from this? Past turn. So basically, if they can't kill either Solemnity or Phyrexian on life, I can't be killed. At least not by conventional means. I can get milled out, potentially. It's the Knight of Autumn. Looks like a Court of Calling for something. Consider sacking one of the rangers. Sure. Pass turn. It's kind of funny that Solemnity shuts down Devoted Dura. That's kind of hilarious. We did learn a lot of stuff just from this league, but... Yeah, Eternal Witness. Get back on land, sure. Sure. Now, do you have a destruction combo? A lot of people don't see this deck, so they don't really know what's going on with it. 
It's really quite an interesting little piece of the puzzle. Oh, right, our Wincon can't actually do anything. That's annoying. So... Because we can't target them because of Shalai, so we're going to have to win this the old-fashioned way. You obviously don't understand what's going on here, do you? So... Do that. Alright. Play Solemnity. Play Ghostly Prison. Last turn. See, MTG Goldfish. Do. Cast Never Rooming Torment, which is annoying. Curious, do they even have run outs in the main deck? Yeah, they want to run out, run a one of Night of Autumn. So. Gain some life. Infinite life ain't relevant, friend. So... Only have three black mana this turn. Alright, let's do this the right way. Boom, boom. Do this. Black, black. Grab one of our rats out of the sideboard. Grab 
Bomba. Wrath of God. Pass the turn. Don't want them having another Shalai in hand. this, do that. Sure, infinite combo away. Never-ending torment. Target you. <sighs> Murderous red cap. Devoted druid. A finale of devastation. Fast turn. Wow, took you long enough to figure out. So, bring in the greater Oromancies. Bring in Suppression Field. Bring in the Ras. Go down that. Down Quarantine Field. For nose is okay at least. Some consideration for rest in peace, but that's kind of whatever. Try it like this. For what it's worth, Foz, whenever you see this, I don't know that the uh, Sphinx's Rev splash was worth it. I mean, this hand's okay-ish. Without the protection of Leyline, it's a lot worse. Honestly, Foz, whenever you're watching this, I think the card we're looking for is Phyrexian Arena, especially the way with it plays with Phyrexian Unlife, because the losing the life isn't relevant if we have an Unlife in play. Carrion Feeder, sure.
question is, what do we consider going to go get with the... Yeah, Finx isn't really relevant here. Access to Grizzly Prison, clog up your mana, pass the turn. Next turn we have access to one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I think next turn we go ahead and grab, depending on what they play here, obviously, I think we go and grab, um, yeah, that's a problem. Means we're dead. As long as our opponent understands the combo of their deck. Looks like they don't. Okay, maybe they do. Infinite damage, cute little combo. So, keep and hope to find the land drop. Always have the turn one mana dork. <laughs> Play the Solemnity next turn. Really locks down a lot of their combos. So I think the primary takeaway from this game is that Solemnity really hoses a lot of decks in Modern. Hardened Scales, Devoted Druid Combo, uh, Stops Infect Cold. So, I wish there was a way to just like make this deck a little bit more... I don't know. Just feels like the black-white with the splash of uh, Phyrexian Arena is probably the best route to go. As far as card advantage and such. Yeah, about Druid, sure. Really need a land drop, preferably a blue source six turn. Presumably they brought in things like either Abrupt K or uh, Assassin's Trophy, perhaps all of the above. Force of Vigor is another card they could potentially have.
Really only saw their deck game one, so I'm not quite sure what all they could potentially have in it. Got friend. Feels like a cord of culling to me, but not really much we can do about that. Cord of culling or collected company incoming. So the uh, the Celestial Cure and Armageddon combo, sure. You're gonna blow up more of your own lands than mine. Yep. Goodbye, friends. You wit buy back what? Sure. really think they should have gone and gotten a land, quite frankly, out of the graveyard, but what do I know? Yep.
So if we hit a mana source next turn, we get to start winning the game. Decide to blow up our lands, that's whatever. Don't know why you'd use Elementary's Call before you had the other part of the combo, but what do I know? Land, please. Sweet. Three cards. Trophy, trophy, shall I? Pass turn. I mean, if they already have the kill thing in hand, then it's kind of whatever. We're dead, regardless, so. What are you even looking for at this point? And cool. You get to Armageddon me, but I'm not casting a single spell the rest of the game, so. Meh. I mean, it's cool what they're doing. They got a whole lot of different combos going on, and fair enough. That's how they win, I guess. Should have taken the Ugin's Conjurant out of their deck, so we complete the successful 05. But, learned a lot from that league. Uh, the the three-color splash probably isn't worth it in an already kind of clunky deck. And, 
guess never know what your opponent's decks are, know what your opponent's outs are. So we needed to grab the Ugin's Conjurant that first time, but we didn't. So that was my mistake for not realizing what their their out was. In addition to having Assassin's trophies, so. I was just thinking they were going to Armageddon us, and they were just playing on three-balling us for all of our three permanents, so. Anyways, this has been John for MTG Nexus with the donation list. Special thanks to Foz. Hope this was informational for you, Foz. Uh, sorry we couldn't do better with the deck, but as always, thanks for donating.